Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant and I am your instructor for this MS700 Managing Microsoft Teams Exam Certification course. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to manage membership in Teams. Within Microsoft Teams, there are two user roles, owner and member. By default, a user who creates a team is granted the owner access or the owner status. And owners can promote other members to become additional owners. Owners can add members to their team. If the team is public, then members are also allowed to add members to the team. In private team, members can request additional new members to the team. The owners will be informed of the request and they can act accordingly. Please note that owners can make other members as owners in the view teams option. A team can have up to 100 owners. It's recommended that you have at least a few owners to help manage the team. This will also prevent orphan groups if a sole owner leaves your organization. Let's go to the Teams Admin Center and find out how to manage users in team using Teams Admin Center. So I am inside the Teams Admin Center. I'm going to go under Teams and click on Manage Teams. This is where I will be able to select a team and manage Teams membership. So I clicked or selected a team. I can see that who is the member of the team and who are the owners and who are the members. I can simply click on a user and I can make that member and owner as well. As long as I logged in as a global administrator and have access to that particular Teams as an owner rights. So I logged in as this user called Rick and Rick is the owner of that particular group. Microsoft Teams support dynamic membership of team members by leveraging the dynamic membership feature in Azure Active Directory. Dynamic membership enables you to define members of a team by one or more rules that check for certain user attributes in Azure Active Directory. Users are automatically removed or added to the designated team as user attribute change or user joins or leave the tenant. With dynamic membership, you can set up teams for certain cohorts of users in your organization. Let's go and find out how to turn on dynamic membership in the Azure portal. I'm in my Azure portal. Let's go to Azure Active Directory. On the left hand side under Manage, you can click on Groups. Under Groups, you can see there are many groups available. So let's select a dynamic group, for example. It's called Enroll Devices. If I go to Properties, this is where you would be able to see what type of group it is. As you can see that it's a dynamic device group. Similarly, let's find out a dynamic user group. I'm going to select an existing group, go to Properties, and change the assign type to assign to dynamic user. And this is where you can add a dynamic user member query. In this query page, this is where you can add configuration rule or validate rules. You can add expressions to find out how you would like to add an operator to select the value to add a particular user to this group. Once you provide the value and save it based on the syntax what you provide, the query is going to fetch all the users existing within your tenant or any time a new user joins your tenant based on the attribute that user can be automatically part of the group as well. Azure Active Directory access reviews enable organizations to efficiently manage group membership without needing administrative oversight. You can create access reviews for different types of scenarios. You can use access reviews for owners to evaluate team members and guests or for members and guests to review if they still need access for teams they are a member of. 
Let's go to the Azure portal and see how it is being done. I'm in my Azure portal. Let's go to Azure Active Directory. Under Manage, you would be able to find something called Identity Governance. Let's go to Identity Governance. And under Settings or Access Reviews, you can click on Access Reviews. Right now, I don't have any access reviews. You can simply create a new access review by click on new access review, give a name, provide a description, the start and end date, and the frequency where you would like to activate the review. Once you create this access review, you can apply to a group and you can enable the group owners and the program which you want to apply this access review to. Now that we have learned about different types of membership management and access review, in the next lesson, we're going to learn about access for external users. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.